This is Twit. Okay, so coming up on a year ago, in the middle of March 2023, I noted and was quite glad to share that CISA, our already very proactive U.S. cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency, I never thought I was going to be able to just have that roll off the tongue, yeah, but yeah, yeah, cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency. Next is Roskomanzor, and then you'll, be, <laughs> you'll, you'll be the king. Was, was launching an even more proactive initiative. They called it the Ransomware Vulnerability Warning Pilot. And thank God they didn't try to make the, the abbreviation pronounceable. Uh -oh. It's RVWP. <laughs> so, you know, they're not Google. Yeah. And they described it this way. They said, this is, a, this is back in March, organizations across all sectors and of all sizes are too frequently impacted by damaging ransomware incidents. Many of these incidents are perpetrated by ransomware threat actors using known vulnerabilities. By urgently fixing these vulnerabilities, organizations can significantly reduce their likelihood of experiencing a ransomware event. In addition, organizations should implement other security controls as described on StopRansomware.gov. However, most organizations may be unaware that a vulnerability used by ransomware threat actors is present on their network. Through the Ransomware Vulnerability Warning Pilot, which started on January 30th, 2023, so coming up on a year ago, CISA is undertaking a new effort to warn critical infrastructure entities that their systems have exposed vulnerabilities that may be exploited by ransomware threat actors. As part of RVWP, CISA leverages existing authorities and technology to proactively identify information systems that contain security vulnerabilities commonly associated with ransomware attacks. Once CISA identifies these affected systems, our regional cybersecurity personnel notify system owners of their security vulnerabilities thus enabling timely mitigation before damaging intrusions can occur. CISA accomplishes this work by leveraging its existing services, data sources, technologies, and authorities, including CISA's Cyber Hygiene Vulnerability Scanning Service and the Administrative Subpoena Authority granted to CISA under Section 2209 of the Homeland Security Act of 2002. As our listeners know, I'm 100% behind the idea of having the good guys proactively scanning for vulnerabilities. We know that the bad guys are. So to the good guys, my only question would be, what took you so long? Anyway, CISA just published their 2023 year in review, and it contained some gratifying news of the results from the first year of this pilot program, which I hope they can remove the pilot from it. During this first year, CISA sent out more than 1,200 notifications to U.S. and international organizations notifying them of early stage ransomware activity on their networks. CISA also sent 1,700 notifications to organizations that had systems vulnerable to common ransomware entry vectors. In other words, the U.S. is finally proactively scanning the public Internet for vulnerabilities. Together, this totals an average of eight such notifications sent every day of the year last year. And it's difficult to imagine that anyone would blow off a notification from this U.S. agency saying that they've already found evidence of an existing network intrusion or of an existing public-facing vulnerability. Vulnerability. So, bravo, CISA. Yay. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below.